Hello guys, just a, a quick video. Um, shouldn't be more than about five minutes long to be honest. Um, as you know, I did part 10 of the video build of this lovely Apache. It's a beautiful, beautiful model, but it's let down by its decals, decals. Uh, and as you know, I gave up on it. Now, since then, a friend of mine has actually made me some decals. So thank you very much. I'm not going to mention any names because every man and his dog will want some. And if he wants to do them, I'm sure he'll tell the world they're available. Um, I think ASK are actually going to do a set. I think Peter over at ASK is going to make a set of aftermarket decals for this because basically the decals in the kit are absolutely useless. Now, I've had somebody telling me that there is somebody on Instagram that has found a way to make these work. And I'm like, oh, I'm really interested, you know, and he sent me a link. And as you know, Facebook, not Facebook, um, YouTube don't allow links. So he managed to, I sent him my email address and he's emailed me and sent me the link. And, I, and I've basically seen it. And it's the old story enamel thinners. Now you've seen me use enamel thinners before on decals and what I've found is it either works, it does nothing or it can actually just remove the ink. If you have a Revell 144 scale A380 in the Emirates scheme, not the Emirates scheme, the, um, the Airbus scheme, if you do an experiment with those decals you'll find that when you wipe the, the enamel thinners over it removes the colour from the decal and the carrier film stays behind. It's like the decal is printed on top of the carrier film rather than underneath it. If you've got the Edward decals, the new ones, you, you can actually leave them a while and peel it off. If you've got the HGW ones, you can peel the paper off. If you've got the ASK ones, you can use lighter fluid and rub it off, as I've shown you. And some other decals, I think Hobby Boss, it works with enamel thinners. What you need to do is try it on a scrap piece of plastic that's been painted with the same paint as you've used on your model. Get some Humber enamel thinners and try it and see if you can You just Get it on a cotton bud and rub it. And what you should see is the carrier film will start to come away. And you end up with just the lettering on the model. Now, unfortunately, if you remember, I made my own mix for here because I couldn't get any helo drab paint. I've now got some. I've got the uh, MRP one, which is here. It's here. Yeah. Not shaken up, but uh, it's slightly greener than I've done. So, I mean, this needs repainting anyway after all this because I've had to basically rub away decals back here. I don't think I've lost any rivet detail but um, I've been slowly trying to remove them. And what I'm finding is even though this guy has shown on his on his um, Instagram, he's shown he's removing the film with the decal, with the um, enamel thinners. And I'm not calling him a liar because it works. I can see it, it's working. But as I said to the guy that emailed me, I've tried that and it won't work and what it's doing on these it's taking the ink off and I don't know if you can see it but here on this tail there's a danger of decal you can see the decal's still there I've rubbed it so hard I've actually gone through some of the paint you can see the character the decal film is still there okay let me uh, move this light up here to get a bit more light on the subject should make things a bit easier for you to see but you can see the carrier film is still there, but there is no writing there. It's taken the ink away from the carrier film. So I'm going to show you this little part here. This is the, the, the forward seeking radar thing. This masking tape is going to be welded on now. So I don't know if you can see it on there, but there's a decal and there is some black writing on there. It's very difficult to see because the writing is black and the, the, the helicopter is almost black. Um, these decals, I mean, they're they're awful. They're thick. They don't go down, and um, there's not enough of them. The instructions are all over the place. So if you can see that on there, there's some black writing. Okay, so I've got some enamel thinner on here. So I'm going to rub it. And what I would normally want to see here is soon after rubbing it, I'd want to see the carrier film start to break down and start coming away. But as you can see, what's happening? The carrier film is staying where it is. You can see the paint is coming off. I can't believe the enamel thinners is removing the acrylic paint. And you can see on there, and if you look, the decal is still there. You can see the carrier film, it's still there, but the writing is all gone. It doesn't work on my kit. Now I don't know if Hackham are using alternative suppliers for their decals, but I thought I'm going bloody crazy here because that, that guy has sent me that link and I can see it working 
And it bloody works on his model. He does it on a tank. If I keep rubbing, if I just keep rubbing, you can see the carrier film is starting to come away, but I'm having to rub so hard, I'm going through the bloody paint. I'm through to the black primer. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So you can see there's still carrier film there. You can see the edge. So no, it doesn't work. So I'm not going mad. Um, it is what it is. And uh, I'm afraid it's what we've got. It's bloody rubbish. Um, I can do the same back here. There's another one there. You can see how thick and awful that decal is. It looks bloody horrible. I'll rub that. What I would expect to, expect to see now is the actual carrier film starting to lift and just leaving the decal behind, just like it did with the uh, with the lighter fluid experiment I did. I've tried lighter fluid on here. I've tried everything. I've tried uh, thinners. I've tried Tamiya Extra Thin. And I think you can see on there, if I catch it in the light, I'm just going to look with my... Uh, inspection device and I can see that practically all the writing is gone there's just a few little bits and pieces of lettering there but you can see in the reflection in the light you can see that carrier film is still there yeah you can see that on there the carrier film is still there so no it doesn't work so sorry me old mate um I'm not calling you a liar, I'm not calling you a cheater or anything. Because like you say, you sent me that link and I've seen it work. He put a tackum decal on a scrap tank. And the funny thing was, he was rubbing it and it did attack the paint as well, which was acrylic paint, which doesn't normally happen. Um, so I don't know if there's something in those decals that when it's mixed with enamel thinners turns into a chemical that dissolves acrylic paint. I do not know, but um, yeah, such a, such a shame. The one thing you need for this kit, I mean, it's a beautiful kit. The instructions are a joke. The one thing you need for this kit is aftermarket decals. Funnily enough, I was at the Bristol show on the weekend and I saw quite a lot of them underneath people's tables for sale. And um, none of them are selling. So I think Tacker have done themselves an injustice, really. Beautiful, beautiful kit. Beautifully moulded. But what's the point? In fact, I was watching Moss's channel tonight. Moss's uh, live stream. And... Um, Model Minutes was saying on there, you know, you, you can have a, a slightly inaccurate kit that needs a bit of work to get together and all that. But if you paint it and the decals are good, it'll look great. You could have the best plastic kit in the world. And if the decals are crap, you're going to struggle. And straight away, I put my hand up. Yep, yeah, Tammy 130 seconds, Kel Spitfire. Beautiful, beautiful kit. Possibly the best injection molded kit ever made. But boy, oh boy, those decals are just crap. So uh, there we go. Right. So I'm glad you stay tuned. I'm glad you've seen what I'm talking about. And you can see on there, the carrier film is still there and there's no ink on it whatsoever. Thank you for watching. I shall um, move on.